We are very excited to announce the latest Repricing Central update. For this update, we added as many highly requested features as we could. In this video, I'll briefly go over the new pricing and features that we offer, starting with plans and speed. Accelerated repricing is now available on all plans, including the $25 plan. And for sellers who want even faster speed, we've added 5-minute repricing available starting on the $100 plan. Next, we now charge by the number of listings you actually reprice. So if you have 10,000 listings but only want to reprice 5,000, then no problem, you can use our $50 plan. Now, let's go into the repricer. The Managed Listings page got a nice makeover. We've added new listings data, buy box win percentage. Mine says 0%, but that's because it's a test account. Yours will have data here. Buy box owner, are they FBA or FBM? Your position and the product sales rank. Competitor analysis has some nice improvements as well. We now show you who is the buy box winner, handling time, back order status and back order date if there is any. Back out here for those who use groups we have the group column this lets you see which group listings are assigned to. For faster setup and automation go to settings general. At the top this first option lets you reset your price when listing is out of stock. Next up these options are for helping you automate some of the setup process. You can automatically assign values for listings as they are downloaded into BeCool. You can set min price, max price, rule, cost, and FBM shipping cost used for the profit calculator. Now let me tell you about set shipping. In order to set min and max price, we need to have both your price and shipping. It may take a few hours for shipping fees to download. This option lets you assign a shipping value first so you can start setting up min and max price. Later on, when the shipping fee is downloaded from the report, it will replace this. Next up, we've made some big improvements to our rule. This is a really important feature. You can now reprice directly against the buy box. We've added the price change safety net to prevent those large one-time price drops. Down here in custom settings, we've added the option to exclude backordered sellers. And this is really important for booksellers. We let you reprice by subcondition. Here you can choose to compete against the same condition, same or better, used, you can choose specific conditions, or collectible. As an add-on to the rule, we have the scheduler. Let's go to that. The schedule lets you set the time to pause and restart the repricing rule. The repeated schedule allows you to pause and restart repricing each day. And you can use this to reset your price when you pause. Set fixed date schedule lets you set a one-time schedule to pause and then restart repricing. For example, you can pause from the 22nd to the 23rd. Finally, the business reports. For those who want even more data, we've added business reports to help you analyze and optimize your performance. Some of the new data includes estimated profit. We have a new formula for calculating buy box win percentage. Number of times you reprice. Number of times you reprice up, you price down. You can track your main competitors. Are they FBA or FBM? You can track who is winning the buy box. Are they FBA, FBM, Amazon? Who is the lowest price? FBA, FBM. And that's not all. There's a lot more data here which you can play around with in your account. Now that's just a quick overview of the latest update. Stay tuned for more videos where we will go over the features in more depth.